Don't tell me how to live my life. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Oh, blue bloody library. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of egg. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Now don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, 
Just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Oh boy. Uh, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. What? I... Okay. I didn't like choose that. that, but that's cool. He was telling us what's going on in the world and, um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope you didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. I was with Bianca. Do you want a blow by blow account of everything we did? What's this, an interrogation? All right, all right. Sorry, son. It's just that I worry about you. Thanks, Ma, but I'm not four years old. I know, Hal. You've grown up in front of my eyes. It's hard to get used to it. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. I was young once too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. Of course he wasn't. You don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. You're not a boy anymore, Henry. You're a man, and it's time to start acting like one. Yesterday, you promised your father you'd help at the forge. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief-making so much. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday, you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was, and you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad, but I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Cheese. Take cheese.
least you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? Hey, that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Ah, oh, I can't just go over the wall. God be with you. Okay, so I need to collect the debt first. Oh shit, that was the guy I'm supposed to collect the money from. I've already killed your chicken. What do you want? Oh, I my father, father sent me to get the corn you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. How about nothing? Clear off. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. I'd like to see him try. Fuck off, you bastard, or your old man will be pulling those nails out of you. Pillaging needs to start already because might start it here. How dare you speak to me like that? Can your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> Is that the best you can do? That's mean. Stop kicking me! Beating wasn't enough for you. But you still owe my father. You get nothing from me. Tell that to your old man. I'm telling you, lay one finger on me and I'll have you thrown in jail. <laughs> one beating wasn't enough for you. But you still owe my father. You get nothing. I'm telling you. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck your chickens. Welcome, Henry. Ma? Won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Well, isn't Thanks, that embarrassing? You haven't changed your mind about learning the crafts of warfare. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? That oh, was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? 
I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start from the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Fine. Yeah. Very good. Fine. Now you're getting it. Very good. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Good. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of bursting. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master. Something for everyone. Just that. Something else. Just a few little things. All again. What is your bullet be today? Yeah, bye.
about time. Have you got everything I wanted? When I asked Kunish to pay, he fought me instead. The bastard. You don't look too bad, though. Did you get the better of him? I'm fine, but he didn't give me the money. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll sort him out this evening. I've no time for him now. I can take care of him. Well, you're a man now, and a man has to earn respect. Give that drunken sot what's coming to him. But watch out, he's no stranger to a fight. And whatever you do, don't tell your mother. One beating wasn't enough for you. But you still got. I'm done. go and don't ever come back all right all right thank you Lock chest. I'll need a lock pick to get into that. Fritz might have one. Everything for the house, garden and field. Insulting our king. What is I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tartars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitor. Now, even the Pope. I'll be with you, Ernie. Oh, you, you Matthew. Know. It's still here. Deutsche Spanish ship. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. 
someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even Bell himself can keep up with all the popes. Which, which is, is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one out in Rome? Do not blaspheme, Alex. That is true, though. Winslesus is the king of Bohemia. And Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Winslesus' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your dear will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund. Don't and forget about Kutenberg. Where Germans like you kiss Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things, my Lord Executive. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Chris? Two of them of you should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up with a pillar? Don't listen to the press. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit. It made me think of that huge parliament here. You know, the one right next to this freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for it? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But... What are you saying, Henry? But I was going to ail for the father of the dear other face. We're finishing Sarati's sword. Come on. Don't you handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? All right, I'll do it, but then, then you have, have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuna shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get corn out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem, we'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done fastening in Deutsch's house. I'll, I'll be happy to sort out that drunken elf. All right, let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. And the boys. Huh? So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go mirror her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern, and your husband is in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right, and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes, too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. What are you waiting for, soldier? 
fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, Dorshit! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse Hans! Let's make those smiles off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that! Thanks for the follow. What are you doing? For God's sake! Stop right now! The catch pull is on the way! Run, you coward! We better fucking Where are we running? Nothing out of the ordinary there. Good health to you, Henry. Yep, just slinging the shit. In all the field, my cabbage! Cabbage! Green cabbage! Get it before it goes brown! I was really tempted to steal that cabbage. Listen, there's this locked chest I need to get into. Really? Can I straighten not good enough for you anymore? It's just that someone has something that doesn't belong to him, and I want to take it back. <laughs> if you say so. It's not skin up my nose anyway. I've got some lock picks you can have. But if you get caught, you can get them from me. <laughs> Never heard of you. Thanks, Fritz. Okay. Well, I already made him run out of town. Ah, oh, he's still here. One beating wasn't. Oh. So you still got I'm done. Okay, well.
go. Okay, this is a bit harder than I thought it would be. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. Truth, but I might that fucker hands and snitch on us. Well, I'll let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. I need a hand with Kunesh. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. But I made him Get run it. away. Get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a rip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Shit! Mm. Oh, we can do it next. <clears throat> enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Day, Claude Almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? Back? Thanks. Greetings. Uh, this game is uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? Not yet. I'm working on it. And how much longer will it take? Get a move on. We have to finish that sword today. Or do you want me to look a fool in front of Sir Radzik? No, I don't. I'll be back soon.
I bring up my inventory. Okay. Where I have no money. It's only worth six. How much is coal? It's point five. Haggling works both ways. Whether you want it to buy cheap or sell dear, you select the amount that you want to pay with W and S and confirm with E. The trader will respond with the offer. The answer is, if the answer is a refusal, she will, he or she will not make a counter offer and wait for your response. The slider can be moved. Can be moved in one direction or the other it means that. You or the trader doesn't have enough money. Dragging, haggling has dragging out the haggling with one offer after another will gradually try the off trader's patience, and eventually they'll drop the haggling completely. You can see how close you're getting to that point from the trader icon below the bar. That gold there is in the background. Okay, all right. I want more money. What do you say to this? That sounds pretty interesting. A little less, you'll be satisfied. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Okay. Oh, I need ten. I pay 4.5, I have two. Let's hack. Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not? This is a waste of time. Oh, okay. So I need more money. Go to the cross guard. How am I supposed to get more money if that guy only had like two coin? Shows us money and he doesn't want to pay. Well, that drunkard, it won't be easy wringing any coin out of him. What will you do? 
I tried talking to him, but it was useless. I'm not surprised. There's only one language Kunesh understands. And you speak it with your fists. Alright, these guards seem to be pretty... chill. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Saratu, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sasal. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, uh, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. I want the Godspeed. sword for myself. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. I didn't want it before, but now I do. Today's work, the ale might even be on me. Right, blacksmith's boy, you got the best. Did I miss something in here? Try selling with chicken. I'll be with you, Henry. You need chicken, yeah? I'd like to discuss the price. Sure, why not? What do you say to this? A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. Aye, that would do it. Okay, I think... I think I have enough money. Buy nine more. Let's haggle a little more. Let's talk about the price. Why not? Here, with a little something on top for a good measure. Oh, jeez, oh, I just much. accidentally paid more. <laughs> oh, and I still gotta buy f booze from the tavern. Save my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any single maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Right. Give me a cool one for the summer. <laughs> but of course. Sure. 
thanks. I think she knows I'm too poor. It's a me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this oh, evening. Oh cool, that's cheap. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya? I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing on his wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite, savour your schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Wait. <laughs> I saved the game by drinking. Okay. Well, that takes care of everything. deliver some stuff. I will be right back. Alright, now I'm back. Alright. 
Let's make this sword. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? I'm damned if I know. Pizza stream's the best stream. Like check to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look, Look me in the eye, eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish in war. You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you never win an argument. Remember, Henry. If you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Hey man, I needed money to Fairness get ready. that coal. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now find it down so it's well in your hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other wife? You remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose life has fallen only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund 
He brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here. And we'll put it all together. Father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry, are you alright? <laughs> trunk in the living room. What does a medieval living room look like? That's not a living room. Is this a living room? Trunk. Oh, hi. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That soil is truly beautiful. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a common? Try it. That's embarrassing. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Isman? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, say it's fun. Have a safe journey to Sassau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. 
I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green of the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. The messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Adventure life didn't start yet. That's rude. Listen to me, Hal. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry, what about you? I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Ratty. If anything happens, we'll take care of it. He owes me. I don't think he was a blacksmith his whole life.
Oh boy. I tried to help her. Go! They'll kill you all! Can they not fuck off? Oh, 
I lose them via the power of cutscene. Someone give him a drink, and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Survivor from I heard Rubar. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned scallops to the ground, but a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg. 
must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Alright, so I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it a quits here. Um, I'll probably be streaming around the same time tomorrow. Probably the same game, maybe some others. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. Just wanna love you. I just